What's up guys, Nerd Out Desk here and today I'm going to be talking about Cyanogen Mod uh, Cyanogen Mod for the Amazon Kindle Fire Alright, so here I have my Kindle Fire and I'm going to show off the newly installed uh, uh, Cyanogen Mod which is a uh, UI interface so it uh, makes the Kindle Fire look like more like stock Android so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on here. Uh, there's no lock screen but as you can see we have a, a standard Android interface right now. If, if you would learn like to learn how to install this I'll include a link below. But yeah here we have uh, basic stuff. Now this is the Google Music um, widget right here but uh, I can go ahead and open up all my other apps I got. Uh, the only thing uh, that is not working at this time is Bluetooth and uh, you have to configure the audio either through a widget or the system settings. But right now I'm just going to show off uh, on live. Yeah, Would I'm going to have to cut that part out. I don't want you to know my email address. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to show off on live just a, just a little bit. Let's hope my internet is working okay. Probably not, unfortunately. But yeah, if you don't know what OnLive is, it's a uh, basically a way where you can play uh, console games through uh, ill processor devices such as a tablet. See, I have Assassin's Creed. You can play Assassin's Creed on here if you had a Bluetooth controller. That's why I want Bluetooth to work. Anyway, to use the home button, you have to hold down the power button and then hit home, unfortunately. But uh, most things will work fine. Uh, with the uh, program you use to install the uh, recovery menu, you can also use it to install uh, the market. And there we go. We have the market. You can do YouTube and someone... That's not your Facebook. That's my Facebook. Someone on my computer. But yeah, I definitely recommend you go check it out. And, uh, you know, uh, you can still restore it back to the normal Kindle mode if you want to. Alright, uh, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.